Russia has spent $211 billion on two years of war with Ukraine. We are talking only about direct military expenditures, which include equipping, deploying and maintaining troops for offensive operations. This was reported by a U.S. Defense Department official in an interview with Reuters. Since the invasion of Ukraine began, the Kremlin has spared no expense on its military-industrial complex, having to cut spendings for healthcare and science. Moscow has raised its defense budget for 2024 to Soviet era levels. But according to analysts, military expenditures are not the only war-related losses of the Russian Federation. I don't think we've talked that much about the costs that Russia has already incurred and continues to incur. Russia has lost more than $10 billion dollars in cancelled or delayed arms sales. The war had cost Russia an expected $1.3 trillion dollars in previously anticipated economic growth through 2026, an unnamed senior Pentagon official. At the same time, the economic crisis in Russia is only growing, and it is becoming increasingly difficult to justify such economic situation. If at the end of 2023 and the beginning of 2024 the Russian central bank marked inflation at the level of 7.5%, then according to analysts in February, this figure will already reach 8-10%. to 10%. At the same time, experts say that the official Russian statistics is very different from reality. According to my calculations and those of serious economists, last year's inflation was not 7% or 7.5% as the Ministry of Finance says, but approximately 22%, which is a very big rate of inflation. This year it will be no less, the exchange rate will float, and devaluation always causes inflation. Sanctions will only get tougher, which means that transaction costs will increase. Kremlin is trying to find new methods to control the money supply in order to gain access to the savings of Russian citizens, the Ministry of Finance and the Central Bank have developed a new system of pension savings. As a result, citizens will have to transfer their funds to non-state pension savings. As a part of this program, Putin instructed the government to raise 250 billion rubles in 2024 and at least 200 billions in 2025. Experts believe that such a method will make it possible to create the appearance of economic growth with the least losses for the population, which are caused by money printing. The Ministry of Finance can spend any amount of money and later explain where it get this money from. The problem is that sooner or later these trillions end up in the hands of the population. So the problem here is not to provide the government with money, but to prevent the population from spending the money. If you gave the government to dispose of it, you didn't need to print it, but you could take the money from the population, promising that in 10-20 years they will have a wonderful income. However, about half of Russians do not have substantial cash savings. According to the results of the survey conducted by Levada Center, 35% do not have savings at all. 16% have, but they are less than the monthly family income. A quarter of respondents have savings in the amount of their monthly family income, and only 23% of respondents have more substantial funds. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Andriy Dmitrenko, UATV News.